some local businesses are opening, or they are open, but they're still struggling, and others are waiting to reopen. Most need financial help from the government. Action News Now reporter Christina Vitali shows us how the Small Business Administration's recent money cap is hurting them. I have no idea what's going to happen. Owner of Ohm Foods in downtown Chico, Amanda Beauchart, says Thursday was her first opportunity to apply for the Paycheck Protection Loan. I just got invited, and then they're saying that there's no more money available. So, and I know there's like millions and millions of business owners that have already applied. So I'm kind of at the tail end of the option, anyways. Beauchart says she applied for a few other loans as well. I've applied for the SBA loan, but I haven't heard back from them. I also applied for a women-run uh, business um, loan um, that I haven't really heard back from them as well. So I'm just in the waiting game. She says there are about eight women-owned businesses here in Chico. We do try and work with each other and give each other as much, you know, uh, information that we're all receiving um, so we can all win here. Ohm Foods lost about 70% of its business. There is a lot of unknowns and I'm trying not to worry. <laughs> you know, just trying to just show up and work and give some hours to my employees. Other businesses like Show Love Thrift have been closed for weeks. Not only is it waiting to reopen, but the owner tells me they're waiting for financial help as well. People like me, I mean, we have very few employees, but, you know, it's devastating if we can't get some help. Owner Terry Blessing says she tried applying for two loans, one being the PPP. Blessing says right now she's on a waiting list with Tri-County's bank for an application. I'm on a waiting list. I'm hopeful that I, they still will allow me to submit my application. But if the money's not there, then I have to borrow the money. We just don't know. So we're just waiting. To pass the time, Blessing says they are keeping busy by organizing and cleaning the shop. But she's overall hopeful they'll get the help they need. In Chico, Christina Vitali, Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. So as we continue to look at this issue, just like that, $350 billion allocated by Congress to provide paycheck protection for small businesses is used up. Now, Congress is working to deliver another $250 billion, but that has hit a partisan roadblock. Congressman Doug LaMalfa joins us.